let's take a look at how to set up this problem down here at the bottom. We've got another angle of depression problem that we're doing. And so it says the pilot has just started on the glide path for landing at an airport and is approaching the runway. So here's the runway over here. There's the start of the runway. There's the end of the runway. And the plane is out here somewhere. I know that's a horrible plane. It says the runway has a length of 9,000 feet. So there's your runway. And then the angle of depression from the plane to the ends of the runway. <clears throat> so this is how you do angle of depression. You're going to first draw a horizontal line going straight out. That's the, that's the line of sight, as they say. And an angle of depression to the front right there, it says 17.5. There's one angle of depression right there. And I'll do the other one in a different color. The other angle of depression is going to be the line out to that side, and that's the other angle of depression. So the smaller one is going to be the one that's further out. So this smaller angle is 17.5 degrees. And this bigger angle, this full angle right here, that full angle is 18.8 .8 degrees. Which means, let me take another color here, this angle right here is going to be the difference between those, which is 1.3 degrees. And so now you can use your law of cosines and your uh, and or law of sines to find all the information that you need uh, to find out uh, which, well, we don't even have here the, the, the questions that are being asked. I'll leave that for you to figure out, but that's how you would set up that problem.